Last time on Silly Science with Simon, we made a marble run with 10 different track pieces. Make sure you check that one out because today we're taking that marble run to new heights. In this episode, we will make a marble run that's twice as long, explain the science behind it, and make the track glow in the dark. Are you ready? Then let's get science. These are the 10 track pieces I made last time. I started by painting the toilet roll six different colors and then made a new set of track pieces. Because the painted pieces looked really nice, I made a second set and saved the old pieces to give to someone special. Setting up the track can take a bit of time, but here it is in 10 seconds. All right, let's try it out using these Pokemon marbles. Having two track changes means there's three different paths for the marbles. Path number one. Path number two. Path number three. Whoa, that is so cool. But we can't just play with marbles all day. We also want to talk about some science. Question one, why does the marble roll down the track? The answer is gravity. Gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects towards each other. When you sit under an apple tree, gravity causes that apple to fall down straight onto your head. Due to gravity, there's a force on this marble pulling it towards the earth. This track gets in the way and stops the marble from moving by applying a force in the other direction. But as soon as we tip the track, part of the force of gravity points along the track rather than into it, which makes the marble move. Question two, what about friction and the marble's rotation? Question three, how do the track changer, the flush and the water fountain work? To answer this question, we need to explain the center of mass. For this video, we can think of the center of mass as the point at which an object is balanced. When an object is allowed to pivot around a point, like this wheel, the center of mass will always end up below the pivot point. The flush's center of mass is here, the water fountain's center of mass is here, and the track changer's center of mass is here. This straw and these tracks stop the center of mass from being below the pivot point. But if we got rid of them, we can see that it would be. When we add a marble to each track, it changes the center of mass. This makes the pieces rotate around their pivots until the marble moves on to another track piece. For the last part of this video, we're going to... Whoa, what just happened? Oh yeah, earlier this week I sprayed the pieces with glow-in-the-dark paint. This is what they look like at night time. Whoa, that is so cool. And this is what they look like when I use a ball that lights up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Silly Science with Simon.